Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Dr. Phil Hammond. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all for turning out. Lovely to see you. How many people here would say we're well, healthy? Put your hand up if you're healthy. Excellent. And who's a lonely, divorced, alcoholic bigot? <laughs> about 50-50, which is what I'd expect uh, in the NHS. Uh, I'm Dr. Phil. I'm here to talk a little bit about the flu jab, a little bit about prevention. And actually, I think working in the NHS is a little bit like camping beside a river. And you camp beside the river, and all these bodies float down the river. And we spend all our time diving in to pull the bodies out to try and put them back together again. And we spend so much time pulling bodies out of the river that nobody has the time to wander upstream and look at who's pushing them in. Prevention isn't very sexy, to be honest. We try to do things to prevent people getting ill. And actually, a lot of people in the NHS are adrenaline junkies. We like jumping onto the oil platform and putting out the fires. The prevention stuff's a bit dull. But it seems odd to me that as doctors, as a GP, I get paid. I get incentivized uh, to give my patients flu jabs, but most GPs don't have the flu jab themselves. Clearly ridiculous, NHS staff walking around with the flu, giving it to patients, uh, giving it to their loved ones, to their family, uh, giving it to other colleagues. It seems ridiculous. Why don't doctors have the flu jab? And it's interesting because if you interview not just doctors but all NHS staff, they come out with the same excuses that everyone else comes out with. The first, the really common one, is I don't have right, the flu jab, right, because it gives you flu. Who believes that? Who thinks the flu jab can give you flu? Do you really? Who told you that? My grandma. Your grandma? Is she still here, your grandma? No. Absolute pants. The flu jab contains no live virus whatsoever. It can give you a reaction because your immune system can, uh, can react to it, but it contains inactivated virus. There's no way in the world the flu jab can give you flu. The best one I ever came across, I once met a paramedic and he said, right, I'm not having the flu jab, right, because my mate, he had it last year. Within a week, his cat was dead. And that proves it, and it? it's not safe. And what I heard, what they do is like they take swine flu, right, from the pigs, and they mix it like with the bird flu, and they force them to mate, which is disgusting. And I'm not sure what happens next, but they put it in a vaccine with eggs, and they give it to you, and it's really horrible. And it's got horrible side effects. Who thinks the flu jab has horrible side effects? Yeah, nonsense. You know, you might get a little bit of a sore arm, you might get a little bit of shivers. Generally, the vast majority of people get, don't even know they've had it. Don't even know they've had it. We still don't have it. There's also this myth that it really, really hurts. Who thinks the flu jab would hurt? It's not. We think it's going to be given to you. You, know, you get people, oh, I don't like it. What they basically do when they give you the flu jab is they take a big umbrella and they put it down your old man. <laughs> I might be confusing it with chlamydia, actually. Uh, <laughs> flu jab, tiny wee needle. You hardly know that you had it at all. Some people think you're infectious after you've been given the flu jab and you pass it on to other people. Anyone believe that one? It's an old nonsense. Why do you think people sometimes get the flu after having the flu jab? It could be a different virus. Could be a different strain. How long do you think it takes a flu jab to protect you once you've had it? Quite a long time. Quite a long time. 10 to 14 days. So if you get flu after having the flu jab, it's very likely that the flu jab hasn't kicked in yet, which is why it's really, really important to have it early on in the season. Have it early on in the season, you're covered for the season. So the vast majority of people who get flu after having the flu jab, it might occasionally be a strain. You see, like you get the blue strain, you might have been vaccinated in the blue strain, and the green strain comes along. Just occasionally. It covers you about 70 or 80% of the common flu viruses that hit you in a season. But it's most likely because it's the 10 or 14 days for it to kick in. Anyone got now the excuses not for having the flu jab? Yep. I thought you could only get it at a certain age. Only get it at a certain age. Who told you that? Your grandmother. <laughs> Your grandmother is a font of all knowledge, isn't it? <laughs> Generally, the flu jab uh, can be given to anyone. There's virtually no one who can't have the flu jab. Who thinks you can't? I'm ginger and I'm pregnant. Who thinks I shouldn't have the flu jab? <laughs> ginger, obviously, because I bruise like a peach uh, and I faint easily. Who thinks pregnant women shouldn't have the flu jab? No, pregnant women particularly should have the flu jab. What's the only indication for not having the flu jab? Extreme allergy to? Something in the flu jab. Your grandmother. Eggs. <laughs> eggs is right. Some people have extreme allergy to eggs, and sometimes they can have the flu jab under supervision. Sometimes um, uh, they actually make a vaccine that's good for people who are allergic to eggs. But virtually everyone can have the flu jab. There simply is no excuse. Uh, so the message is, have the flu jab, and actually to prove that I'm no wuss, and even though I have ginger hair and I bruise like a peach, I'm actually going to have the flu jab live on stage. This has never uh, been done before. The wonderful Sister Sue is going to help me. Big round of applause for Sister Sue. Coming up, Sister Sue. Now, this is a really important top tip. If you ever meet a nurse in a nightclub, always check her ID. Very, very important to know that you're a proper nurse. And I'll say what it says. Susan Helen Preston. The Emergency Planning Officer at Leeds Teaching Hospitals NHS Trust in Corporate Nursing. And this means you've had the flu jab yourself? It does. When did you have it? Last week. Last week. Are you okay on it? I was fine. Why do you have it, Sue? To protect my patients. 
my family and you and myself. And your friends, that's nice, isn't yeah. it? Patients, friends, family. Nice Venn diagram, that one. I can why. I just check with you? Yes, you can. Yeah, go on. Um, are you allergic to anything? Not allergic to anything, no. Are you feeling fit and well today? Yes. Have you ever had any problems with a vaccination in the past? No, I haven't. And have you had the flu jab before in the past? I had the flu jab last year. And were you okay after Absolutely that? Absolutely fine. Just to make you aware of, after you've had the vaccinations, yep. a few people do get a slight temperature. And aching muscles for a couple of days. That's the immune system reacting. It's not giving them flu because it's inactive. It's so you inactive, can't get flu. It's not live. Your arm may feel a bit sore. Uh, any other reaction? Good. Remember, you cannot catch flu from the vaccine. Ah. Let that arm completely flop, okay. completely relax, uh, completely relax okay. and flop. Sharp little scratch. And that's it all done. Really? Is that it? <laughs> I'm covered, my colleagues are protected, so is my family. I'm feeling particularly smug now. Smug and happy. And just for you. Oh, yes. Can you put up my non dominant breast? There we go. Can I have another one, actually, too? It would look good. Tell them I get some tassels for you.